it seems to me that businesses are oftentimes not really uh, focused on doing the best thing. They're more focused on the profit line, the profit margin. Um, and so it's an interesting approach that you just said, where you're interested in investing in things that will make the world a better place. Yeah, and I think I think sometimes you, you need to look a little bit further than the short short terms. I do understand that you know it's all nice and you have plans and five year plans. But what's going on with you right now? When you need to under, try to understand how what you're doing now will affect you later, and trying to see if what you're doing, what your actions and. Uh, first steps of profits and first steps of incomes will help you to get there, your five-year plan. And it's okay if your five-year plan or 10-year plan or whatever plan you have in the future is changing. Mm -hmm. We all, things are changing, technology is changing, people are changing. Nobody anticipated things that happened in 2020. Nobody maybe will be anticipating things that will happen in 2021, who knows? Right. But, <laughs> So as long as you keep your, your mind, an open-minded approach, uh, you can try, you know, try to, to see if your actions in the meantime helps you with your end goal. And if your end goals change, don't look at this as like a negative thing or like a failure. Just say, okay, what I've learned from it. Okay, I learned from it something. I must have learned from it something. How do I take it to the next step? It's, I was listening to a podcast by Jason Campbell. He has a podcast called Superhumans at Work. An amazing podcast, highly recommend. And, oh, that's yeah, and one of the things that he says is that, you know, as millennials, uh, it's a lot less now about money and also about being congruent with your values. So if you have like a value of uh, integrity, and you don't want to destroy the environment. So if you work in like a Forex company, or if you work in an oil company, for example, uh, that's going to go against your values. And even though you may find success monetarily, as we said before, you may not actually find happiness because you're going against your values. In, in, the, in, in the end of the day, you, I, I definitely agree with that. In the end of the day, you need to look at yourself in the mirror in the morning and say, Okay, I'm I'm doing what I'm doing, but come on, is it? I mean, you. I mean, to to be honest with you, in this world, we do uh, find out that uh, good guys are playing with the bad guys, and they're the good bad guys are playing with the good guys. And I found it up when I was young, and it, it's it definitely shattered uh, my bubble. But uh, but in the end of the day, you need to say okay. I'm playing with these kind of forces, and do I accept it, and or or I'm not? Uh, if there, if it's if it's it's okay with my perspective, there's not there's not going to be somebody who's perfect with your perspective. That's that's for sure. But you know, we all need to put limits to our to our actions, and we need we all need to take responsibility for actions. And we cannot be perfect because. Even you and me, we buy shirts and we don't know how they were made and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's never ending, to be honest with you. But we know what we do know. Okay, we know that this company, what they know, we know what they're doing. Do we collaborate with that? Yes or no? And or this company, we know that they're actually media, but they're owned by a group number a group and uh, that's highly supportive of let's say i don't know if you're vegan and you're working with a media company that's been bought by mcdonald's <laughs> you, need to, you need to say to yourself okay <laughs> you know <laughs> what what's your perspective and you might say okay i'm going with that and you might say okay this is where i draw the line I wanted to circle back to something uh, you mentioned that you learned that the 
good guys are playing with the bad guys and the bad guys are playing with the good guys. Is there a story behind that lesson that you learned? Uh, yeah, well, actually, when I was a young business consulting strategist uh, in a business in a young, uh, sorry, when I was a young uh, business consultant, uh, we were helping companies that was almost uh, coming through a bankrupt. And once you start working with them, you suddenly see that this company, especially she was, that company was a part of the uh, army forces uh, companies that were providing, you know, different tools. And they were engaging with a company that had a very, I don't know, different names, a different name. And we, we looked it up and it's basically a company that was an Israeli company that was trading with a company from Turkey, but this company from, and, we, and you say, okay, we have a peace agreement with Turkey. Yeah, but the company in Turkey was actually from Pakistan. <laughs> and actually this Israeli company was giving products to the Pakistan army, which is right now is not in peace with Israel. Maybe things will change, I have no idea. And that's when things basically started hit me up and say, open my hand and say, oh, oh, okay. So I do understand that. And I've seen many examples of it because sometimes people say uh, they they give it up and they say, okay, we need the money. Just, you know, maybe the, the line we draw, it's not the, it's getting it's getting a little bit grayer and not that black. And uh, we all we all we all can change our perspective. That's okay. Uh, but like I said earlier, you wake up in the morning, you say, you look at yourself in the mirror. Are you happy from what you got? Are you happy from what you've done? And you do you take responsibility for your actions? If you do, then you're okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was, that was beautiful. I really appreciate you sharing that lesson.